told people that the growth of poker maybe 10 years ago was maybe the high stakes poker game, but now it's the vloggers and the live streams are really the growth of poker, in my opinion. It's, what, it's how poker is growing right now. It's all the great vloggers out there who do daily content and right. then the live streams. Yeah. And watching them is uh, is very interesting. It depends who, who you you know latch on to, and they all have their followers, and uh, they obviously have a passion for the game and for the medium, and uh, so that's nice. So I'm in with Ace Queen suited here. On a flop of seven, nine, ten, couple of clubs and princess with a tremendous flop. Yeah, she got middle pair and uh, the flush draw. I got tapped out. Your team WSOP with a good so starter. She just, yeah, she, she put in 25. Uh, of course, I've never played with her. And then we get a call here for 25. And so I had to follow up, and I made it a little more. There you go. All right, all right. So I made it 105, uh, thinking maybe she missed. And, of course, she's not going anywhere with, with this hand. And so she, she makes the call. And right then I knew that she had a hand. You're going to go, uh, you're going to tag me out? Oh, uh, right. here we go. I'm going to right. go into the felt. Good luck, man. Here's Skull. I don't think you can do any worse. So, yeah, uh, so I'm thinking she, she definitely got a piece of this. And uh, once she called, and then I got a call from Team Polk over there. And then the other club comes here, and I knew that. Uh, hey, so much. How are we up, doing buddy? here? Uh, we're showing how not to play, or how Ace or Queen does play team normally. Team? Uh, we're, I raise pre-flop, get two callers, uh, and then uh, Team Princess. I just get there. 25 on the on the flop. I raise it to 105. I get two callers, and then she hits the flush, and I was able to. Let me get my phone out and open up the okay. chat. This is what we normally do here. It's such a pleasure to have you guys here. Everybody's having a great time out there. Yeah, it's fun. It's a, a great group of people you have here. We don't usually know. I've never seen a, a format like this. Anybody can be tapped in at any time. You got your rail, your teammates there moving you on. I didn't even tap Rick on the shoulder for more money. I don't know if I lost the money already or not. Yes, you just did. Yeah, I lost the race with the, uh, the sevens versus uh, TM. Yeah, the King Jack, yeah. yeah. And this is a, a bunch of our, our screen favorites. Oh, yeah. Our mics are hot. It's not usually this talkative. It's a little bit more more serious. Oh, good. Okay. But, but tonight is, is it's loose. Give her the straight flush. Team yeah. Loosey Goosey, we have here. Yep, all in with the straight. Six five. And so I, 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 after the hand was over, he was getting a new stack, and I said, Wait, what, "What did you call it?" He said, "I had six five. I said, "You call my raise from twenty five to one hundred five with six five on a board." Well, he had the you know, so he had a draw. But. Lorenzo, aka Lamb Lorenzo, yeah, a very oh, I smart think I heard young about man. Him. I heard about him. Yes, yep. very uh, well off. He's done well for himself. Always positive, prefers tournament he's poker, behind. He's but he's uh, a lodge regular, and he's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he might be one or two when we have our, you know, he plays the stream from time to time, have the highest VPIP. Like one time we did a whole stream for three, four hours, and his VPIP was 100%. Oh, no kidding. Or, or close to it. Okay. So he's going to play pretty much any well, two, pro tip. DQ was kind of doing that way when we were playing cash before this as well. So if Lamborenzo's one on the VPIP Hall of Fame, DQ's number two. Yeah, I would think so. That's what it felt like. <laughs> or the other way. It could be the other way around. So we kind of loaded this game up with some fan favorites. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, to, uh, mix and of course, his, mix his partner is Doug oh, Polk. Who our good friends. Polk's providing some action. Some teams are, are, are tapping in and out on every street. It's just, it's, I'm having a great time. Scotland and Lon here are talking about ancestry the homeland. a little bit. The homeland. Yeah, you guys go, go after it. <laughs> you, you're from the old country, right? I am. I was born in Scotland, moved to the U.S. four years ago. I have no plan on going back, though. Is that right? Yeah, I really like the U.S. What brought you here? So my wife studied in Scotland, and then, yeah, I moved over here. Oh, That's nice. That's the story, yeah. Now you got a couple kids. Yeah, one, 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 another one on the way. One on the way, yeah. So. Crushing, crushing the games here at the lodge on a weekly basis. Oh, recently, yeah. 
We went out to WSOP together this past summer. Had oh, a good did you? Time out there, nice. Scotland and I. Yeah. No, it wasn't the poker that crushed me over there. So the blackjack yeah. or the, the roulette? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Uh oh, into the pit. I had fun. <laughs> into the pit on the now. way out. I did now. I have never been there. It's my goal. I'm a I'm a very avid golfer, and. Uh, I have some friends who uh, are trying to set up some trips to get over there. So I know I need to go. I was at the Irish Poker Open a couple of years ago, uh, and that was that was a ball. And I had a, a a great idea to to you know go out and play some of the the great links courses, but the the tournament and everything were happening on a like a Parkland U.S. course. That's the only point. I, did, I wasn't able to get out there for a lot of reasons. So I missed playing. <laughs> All right, ace queen. This is a good hand. Lamorenzo and Doug are tapping each other, and Doug's like, "What are you doing to me here? What do I do?" Let's watch this hand and listen in. Pretty good hand. Oh my god, my odds. What is this play? What is this play? Doug upset at Lamorenzo for putting half his money into the pot with a weak King Nine, but his cards are locked. It's coming. It's got to be coming. Against the general manager and over there we versus go. the general there manager. There we go. Here comes Doug lurking in the shadows over here. He's live. Oh, you're suited. Live. We had. All right. Oh, that's I know, I know. Well, I was going to call him, but still. All right, Doug's going to sit on this club. Uh, one club. Still live. Doug, welcome. Did you, you have some second thoughts about putting the money in with that? Oh, another club. We watch a seven going to come, and we would have won. A seven's going to come. Ah! Oh, done. That's how it's done, guys. <laughs> Just gets there. <laughs> play, play, play that oh my god. <laughs> what a run out. Yeah, I got tagged in here. That was, that was very mid, with mid hand. With 210 in free fault with King 9 suited and someone with all that. You have to go, right? <laughs> Would you have like 300 behind? If that? Three something. Yeah, it was. Hey, you were 60 you 40 behind, that's all. That's all. Yeah, well, it, yeah. it was nice he had his queen, but right. you're up against, I don't know, King Queen? Things are, things yeah, are not, then so, you're, not you're so dead. hot. Yeah, you didn't need to, you didn't need it. You know, my plan was hit a flush. And, and yeah, it's good. I'm I, glad. I, think I went good. out there and I executed. It's good. By yeah. the way, Lon, how you been? Uh, been very well. Nice. Been very well. It was a great World Series. Uh, we're on the tail end of all our work. Oh, what I do? Uh, out there for a lot of October, most of November, and then in post production for December. And uh, we're still in post production for another few weeks for the 15 tape shows that'll, that are still airing right now. Wow, busy times. Yeah. So that's good on CBS Sports Network. The one thing uh, I wish the CBS Sports Network could do, I don't know why they don't just have it a regular night for the, the World Series shows. We started a couple of Thursdays and they moved to a week and a half later every Monday and they're going to bounce around. Want to cut? They run yeah. them so much anyway. So. It makes it a little hard for people to know what this tune is. Yeah, it's nice to see the first run. I, I notice folks like to see the first run you know, when it happens. So, uh, and that's that's nice because then we can tweak if we were still in the first one, we remember a few of the jokes and we can you know, tease them. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> but, uh, now, we've had a good season. I, I haven't told Norman, but I thought, you know, we're working better than we ever have together. Wow. You know? And so it's really yeah, nice. Yeah, that's really nice. I wouldn't want to tell Norman either. No. <laughs> he would, he would discover, He'd be lost uh, on him. He would, yeah, he would be lost there. Exactly. And how right. many years is it now that you guys have been